Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly and today I'm going to show you how I made these three different design staplers. The geode one um, I have not seen before on a stapler. I've seen it on tumblers but I haven't seen it on a stapler but the floral design and then of course the paper are very popular. You see those everywhere so I just decided to make them. One of these is for my sister-in-law that she requested the paper one because she's also a teacher. I am beginning with just a black stapler from Amazon. I bought a box of staplers. I think there's 12 in a box, could be 10 to 12 in a box. I will make sure I link that in description box. I have sanded my stapler blanks and then I am coating them all with epoxy and putting uh, different colored glitters on all three of them. I do have a couple stapler converters or attachments, if I think that's what you call them, coming from Etsy, but they are taking a while to get here and I'm really impatient and I really wanted to get this um, paper stapler to my sister-in-law. So I just stuck those suckers right onto the end of my three quarter inch rod and you know what? It didn't fall off. I thought for sure the next morning, every time I coated it with epoxy, I was going to come back and my stapler covers were going to be laying on the ground and they did not fall off. So it does work. It's just a little bit tricky to apply the epoxy because the stapler wants to wobble back and forth on the tip. I am beginning with, on this one, I'm using a glitter from Glitter Guy, which is a really, really pretty glitter. But I've had this glitter for over a year, have never opened the package, but I think somehow moisture must have gotten in it. I did have a bunch of glitter sitting on my window ledge for a while while I was kind of rearranging and I had forgotten about them there. So maybe the moisture from my open window um, affected this glitter, but it came out really chunky. So what I decided to do is go over it with a red and I really love the way it turned out. So this a glitter guy color is called Dream House, and it's kind of a purplish pink. And then I put Brandy Wine from Glitter Heart Co. right over the top of it. And the combination of those two glitters was even more beautiful um, than I had imagined and more pretty than even one glitter by itself. So it was like a blessing in disguise. With this second stapler, I am spray painting a wine stain um, color from Color Shot. You can see I attempted to put a different glitter on that one originally because it's kind of icky on the inside, but I didn't like the color I used originally, so I decided to change it. So we are doing wine stain from Color Shot, and that one turned out really pretty. And after I coat this one with uh, the first layer of epoxy, I'm going to use PDB Creative Studios Cabernet Glitter. It's a multi-size glitter, one of their newer releases, and it is gorgeous. Because this glitter has, um, you know, chunky and fine glitters in it, you want to make sure that after you apply the glitter, you kind of tap it down a little bit, which was difficult when it was on my spinner also because I didn't want to tap it right off the end of that rod. So I just very gently paused my turner every now and then, tap, tap, tap the pieces that are sticking up and then restart the turner. And I did use fast set epoxy. So I let it spin for just a little bit before I tapped those down and I didn't have any issues at all. And the third stapler I'm using or making, I spray painted with white and I am putting um, Glitter Heart Co's diamonds right over the top of that one. You will see really dark colors shine or coming through that glitter. So I spray painted it really well. I gave it a couple coats of spray paint and then I'm making sure that I get the tips um, coated really well with the epoxy too. So when I spray when I sprinkle the diamonds, I'm getting all the surfaces. So here's my, my cheat little setup here, and <laughs> those could have so easily fallen right off the ends of those turners, but they did not. So uh, whoever had this idea originally, it was not me. I saw somebody do this, and I'm like, nah, that'll never work. There's no way that's gonna work. They must be crazy. Nope, they're genius, that's, that's what they are. This is now after the second coat of epoxy, um, the first coat of epoxy was used to apply the glitters. The second coat of epoxy I put over the top of it, which I didn't show in the video, but I put that over the top of it to make the surface nice and smooth. Now I'm going to give each one a good sand and then take them upstairs, wash them with Dawn dish soap really quick, really, <laughs> not really quickly, really well. And then I'm ready to apply my stencils or decals or whatever it is that I'm going to put on them. I must have spent hours and hours, maybe not multiple hours, but definitely an hour trying to figure out what 
I wanted to put on these two staplers. I knew the white one was going to be for my sister-in-law. She already said that she wanted the paper, so I knew exactly what to do with that one. But these two, I had no idea. I really wanted to use that little skeleton hand because, you know, Halloween's right around the corner. I could not make it work. Then I wanted to use a flower vinyl that was clear, but it was really pretty, this one right here, but I couldn't make that work because it was too see-through and then the image was too faded. So what I decided to go with is Brittany Barnes has a vinyl that was from Southern Bell Glitters below. Um, initially, I didn't want to use that because Brittany Barnes just put out a video of a stapler that she made with florals um, from her, I think they were her florals, and I didn't want to be a copycat, and I didn't want to use the same thing, and I didn't want to have the same idea, but I did. So I used, my stapler's not a peekaboo one like the one that she did on her video, but it's definitely the floral, but I'm really happy I did. It turned out really good. So this clear vinyl, um, I had to pull that one off, even though I really loved the flowers on that one. Okay, so these are actually vinyl, vinyl like, you know, normal vinyl uh, that is semi-transparent or, or transparent. These are actually rub-on transfers. Um, so these are pretty easy to use. I did have one that I used on a drip tumbler um, in a couple of videos back where I couldn't get the drip uh, transfer to actually transfer off the paper, but this one came off really easily. So you just rub it on and then you start peeling from one edge to the other. And because this one, I'm going around a corner or a bend, I just peeled the top first and then bent that paper over and then went ahead and peeled off the side. That way I wouldn't rip the transfer. So I did that for all my florals and just kind of scattered them around my stapler to make them look kind of pleasing. Not not so cluttered in certain areas, but spread out with different sizes, small and little, to make it look pleasing to the eye. Mm -hmm. Yep, I definitely said small and little. Uh, little and big is what I meant to say. Little and big. Spread them out. Different sizes. Okay, this one is my absolute favorite. First of all, wine color is my jam. That burgundy wine, I love all the fall bright reddish like the maple trees, the blood maples. Oh my gosh, blood maples, so gorgeous. Anyway, so that's those that color palette is is my absolute favorite. Um what I use to apply these glitters and foils is the Hyperion glitter glue, which I absolutely love it kind of applies like tacket you know how you apply if you've ever used tacket you apply the tacket and then you let it sit and it, it um, dries but when it's dry it's still tacky to the touch so you can stick foils and glitters and stuff to it so I really love that so this glitter glue works the same way as that tacket so what I'm doing is I'm starting in the center with the red foil flakes from PDB creative studio I think it's called the fall harvest no that's that's the beads. What is this mix called? It's like a fall mix of foils. I'll make sure I link it below. Um, I started with that in the center, and then on the, the next layer, the next ring, I did my goldish kind of fall mix with some browns and golds, and um, there's some like reds and oranges in there too. Just a whole bunch of different mixes. And then the third ring, I did my mix with the silver, diamondy, white, white-ish color. And then on the very outside ring, I applied the gold, gold foils. I did that one big geode spot in the center and then one smaller geode spot off to the, the top tip. And I think it looked really cool. The only thing that was kind of funky is that when I spray sealed it with my, my clear gloss spray paint, the red foil flakes turned kind of orangish yellow copperish and I didn't like that I, I like I mean that look would be pretty with something else but I really wanted the reddish colors to show through I thought that's what made it look so beautiful and then so what I did is I went ahead and reapplied some of the foil flakes on top of the area that I spray sealed with the gloss spray paint and just left it and didn't spray seal but then when I put it under my epoxy it did the same thing and it turned like an orangish copperish color so I wasn't a fan but I just left it anyway and it just is what it is so next time I use those foil the red foils I'll know that they might change color or I might have to seal it with something else I'll have to figure that out but for now I just left it as is 
After I had both of those little geode spots, I went ahead, like I told you, I sealed it with a clear gloss and then I reapplied the red foils over the top. So there's after I reapplied the red foils and then I put it under epoxy and so that you're not gonna see the red foils anymore, it's gonna turn orange. <laughs> And then when they came off the turner, I took my gold metallic marker that I'll also link below. I believe I got this from Amazon, I think, unless it was in like a subscription box. I don't really know, but I'll see if I got it from Amazon. Um, it's just a metallic gold marker. And so what I did is I just traced, I just decided to trace three rings that were gold around and maybe it was overkill. I don't know. I think it looks neat. Um, I could have done maybe different colored rings, but I didn't have any other metallic markers. So I just did it this way. And so I did three gold rings and then I put it under the epoxy one more time and then it's gonna be ready to piece back together. Now you get to put everything back together. So you have to make sure that those little holes, those little grooves with the um, indentation is not clogged with epoxy. Otherwise you won't be able to set that on to the, the end of the stapler correctly. And then every time you push it to staple, it pops off. Um, so I had to dig and dig and dig in those holes. I got too much epoxy in there. Um, Luckily, when I was digging around and popping off epoxy, I didn't ruin any of the glitter this time, so um, that's good. So I finally got it so that it worked, and then there's a little spring that you need to take out when you're glittering your stapler blanks, and then make sure you insert that spring back in, and then pop the little pieces, the little um, insert back together. And I forgot to include a video of how I actually took these apart. So um, at the very end, I'm going to show you how, what it looks like fresh out of the box when you take it apart, so that you can see then again how to pop it back together more slowly. And I'll make sure that my hand is not out of the camera view because I kept pulling my hand back and forth. So I apologize for that. Um, I need to work on that skill of keeping my hand in the camera. So then you just piece everything back together and then make sure you don't have any epoxy on the little metal clip that snaps into the part that has the staples. Otherwise, when you click it to staple, it, it gets stuck. So all of mine had epoxy on that little metal clip. So I had to remove spray paint, epoxy, um, whatever from that section so that when I snapped it and tried to staple, it stapled smoothly without any glitch. So there you go. And I did not record the piece where I put the vinyl onto this one. All this is, is a whole bunch of different strips of very thin vinyl. You could use washi tape if you want. I just used one red strip of vinyl, whole bunch of blue washi tape vinyls, and then I cut out three little circles for the silver pieces at the end of that handle. So I'm really sorry I did not push record. I thought I was recording and then when I went to go view it, it was not there. So I messed up and I hate when I do that. Okay, so from the beginning, this is what your box looks like when you get the um, shipment from Amazon. So you have your little staplers and the staples in the front, the top, and then you have your stapler. So you want to take that stapler um, apart by snapping. You need to open up the spring section, pull back that little metal piece. So there's, there's two little metal pieces, one that clicks into the other one. You wanna separate those two metal pieces and then this little clip, this little metal clip, all you do is push down on that bar, that metal bar, push down, and then take your thumb and gently just pull away and it automatically just pops right out. And then you can pull off the black top, the part that you're gonna be using with epoxy and glitter. Separate that very carefully so you don't break anything. And then there's going to be a little spring right there, a little coil spring that you wanna take out. And then putting it back together, you just reverse every step. So then you're popping in the spring. Push that top on that has little indentations with the holes back onto the metal pin. Separate the two metal bars. 
take the top piece of that metal bar and give it a gentle push right back into the clip. It'll snap right together. And then if you close your stapler, it should work just fine as long as your epoxy is all cleaned out from those little holes. I'm so sorry that my hand kept pulling out of the view of the camera. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please leave any questions or comments below and I will have another video posted next week.